Alright, and welcome back, dudes. Alright, so we're here today to go ahead and set this thing right, the arc wink. We're gonna go ahead and set the cruising altitude a little bit lower so we can go ahead and, uh, and I guess keep things within our firing arc and figure out <laughs> from the recoil how this thing can go ahead and, uh, progress forward and I guess dodge shots. I guess the recoil dodges shots automatically. We'll see. We'll do a little more testing before we put this thing in the campaign. But, uh, but yeah, we definitely gotta lower the altitude on this. And here we go. I really like this cruising altitude. It's very low to the water. I set this at 100, but I guess this thing kind of struggles every now and then with, uh, with fine balancing. I mean, it's, it's all fine tuning, guys. That's what you gotta do. Tune it up so it works just right. And, uh, yes, we, uh, we coming in low to the water. Very mean. And I guess <laughs> if we're gonna encounter big mountains, we can always make it higher. But, uh, but this is pretty decent. I like it. Let's go ahead and throw a bad guy in here and see what the heck uh, happens here. Alright, so let's get, oh, maybe an airship, huh? Yeah, let's get, like, an airship in here. Let's get, like, uh, I don't know, like, that sounds fun. Warhorse? I think I know what that is. Let's see what happens. Where's this warship at? There it is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we come in for an attack run and what, uh, happens here. Alright, so we're on combat. On, on. And, man, this thing looks so cool. Oh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> a little too low to the water. Oh yeah. And we've got a working ship. I love it. What the heck is going on over there? Let's take a look. Uh, <laughs> there, there goes an Atlas. Uh, totally destroyed uh, by the hail of heavy gunfire. It is slowly, uh, we're slowly reaching in. And uh, oh my gosh, just absolutely wrecking this guy. Oh, this is a glorious day. It's a glorious day. It's from like 2,000 away. And here we are flying right on in. Uh-oh. See what happens after shooting. I think the AI can go ahead and compensate all that recoil. Yeah, there we go. And bada boom. And we're not shooting at salvage, right? Okay, that's why we stopped shooting at him. Because he is a done deal. He is no longer of interest to us whatsoever. So, all right. Let's build this bad boy in the campaign. Also, I have this guy strafing here uh, instead of banking. Uh, that helped out a lot. And I also added some more, uh, what do you call it? Wings to the front of this thing. This was a little nose heavy. So I added a few more wings uh, right below here. Uh, so right, right, just underneath these wings, I added another layer of wings, and that's all this bad boy needed. Let me guys, uh, let me show you guys the AI here as well, uh, so you can just go ahead and see. Can I pull this apart? Hang on a sec. All right, let's let's do this thing. All right, let's uh, go into build mode. All right, so let's see. Uh, yeah, this is the AI I'm using for it right here. But a boom, this right here makes them uh, go ahead and uh, and yawn to turn towards targets, and there we go. Very good. So. Uh, I will see you guys in the campaign and back in the campaign. All right, so we're on our little builder bot here right on the edge of war of, of our territories. Now, I'm kind of thinking uh, that we should go after maybe another enemy after we're done with the deep water guard. Uh, we, we might go ahead and pay these guys off with some oil since we have such a surplus and then uh, and then maybe go after like uh, Scarlet Dawn <laughs> or something like that, something weird. Because I don't feel like going through the same pattern of fighting, you know, the Iron Hands after this, and then the, uh, the Great Talons and all that stuff. I want to try to switch it up a bit after we defeat these initial enemies. We'll see how that rolls. But okay, for now, uh, let's see if we can go ahead and break apart this fleet and make our epic, epic ships. Might include a few Dragon Wasps here and there uh, to go ahead and, uh, yeah, like, like be some missile defense for us. So, alright, once again, uh, <laughs> remaking the fleet. All right, we're slowly making the fleet here. I'm thinking three arc wings should be enough with a few dragon wasps in, uh, in, in I guess, reserve uh, behind them. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going ahead, making these things up, <laughs> spinning them around in the sky. Hopefully, uh, yeah, there's no enemies anywhere nearby yet. We also got to build a Dirty Dave on this uh, trace resource uh, resource zone because every little bit helps here. Uh, as But we still have a good amount of resources. And these guys are flying around, uh, looking to be bosses here. Let's go ahead and also uh, make sure they leave the fleets. Don't want them to be part of that uh, constructor. There we go. And all right, so we are still forming up here. <laughs> and yes, the Beast Fleet is ready for its conquest of the world. Uh, we are moving into the open ocean, closer towards the deep water guard base, and we're about to smash it to pieces. Well, this is not the base here, but this is a little fleet that thinks they can stop us. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we're moving in. Uh, and uh, in the meanwhile, might as well go ahead and warp over here, take care of this fight. There's a fight going on over here, a little peeny weeny little fight with uh, with our old dragon wasps so uh, go figure oh and it's raining well all right let's we will fight in the rain uh, so let's go ahead and do this these are the old designs for the dragon wasps because they used to be um, oops hang on a sec yeah they used to be yeah single missiles and this is the old missile design now we have uh, three fins one frag head and, uh, and newer missiles are way way better they can hit just about almost any flying target even the ones that are uh, 
moving way out of control. But once we destroy these little fellows here, I'll probably get rid of this fleet and scrap their resources. Yeah, it looks like, oh my gosh, look at that detonation already, just with like a single missile. Alright, and we've taken care of this zone here. Easy, easy style, yeah. Wow, this guy's totally wrecked. Um, wow, that was really easy. Okay, so, uh, moving on to the bigger fight over here. Alright, and let's see uh, how the Beast Fleet handles this fight. Oh, there you go, the enemies are loading in. Alright, we're on the map, we're right about here, this fight right here. And, uh, okay, so we're shooting off <laughs> at the biggest, uh, highest targets. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. This is gonna be ugly. Oh, did we hit anything? Oh my gosh, it's already too damaged. Oh, he just blew off some arms. Oh my goodness. Oh, the atrocities. Um, yeah. Oh gosh, and we got this guy flying up and around here. Hopefully our missiles will go ahead and take him out. Oh, are we actually shooting at this guy? Oh, I see. He's flying around to, to uh, go ahead and repair. But I think, uh, oh, this is turning out to be a very cool fight indeed. I do like, I do like this high amount of DACA here. Oh my gosh, now the bullets are actually hitting the main deck. Uh, I don't think the damage is going to load uh, in fast enough. <laughs> oh, and they all spawned in all together, so they're actually getting some, uh, oh my gosh, these guys are just vaporizing in midair. And now the missiles are firing out. Okay, good, and these are our three fin missiles. Let's zoom out going this way. And, uh, wow, I'm leveling up like like a, like a crazy man. Oh, this guy just disintegrated by the, our mass of cannons right here. As you can clearly see. <laughs> he got vaporized. And, uh, alright, we got some stray missiles here, but they're not gonna hit us. That's nice. Uh, bullets are flying everywhere. Gotta make sure that these dragon wasps don't hit any of our own guys. That's the one... That's the biggest concern here, I guess, we need to pay attention to. And also, this crazy flying right here. Uh, something went wrong. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not really, like, broken too much. It's, it's, uh, it's alright. And what else? Oh yeah, I know you guys, some of you, uh, have suggested to me to put stabilizers on, uh, my ships, but, whatever. <laughs> I like, I like them flying around and, uh, being all crazy. Alright, here's the last threat. Who's gonna take him out? Hopefully we don't hit our own ships with the- wow. <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay, now pull everyone out of play before uh, we smash into each other. <laughs> oh no, we're just repairing. Yeah, it's all good. Is that it? Why the heck is the fight still going on? Anyone else around here? I don't see anyone else. There we go. And just taking a look at the world map now, seeing what it is that we are ca capturing around here these days. So we got our uh, newly improved, I actually didn't destroy this group, I, I just went ahead and retrofitted them to the newest uh, versions. So now they got the double uh, double missile, super firing, fast, and uh, super maneuverable missiles. So they're moving up here to take out the last of the deep water guard over here. And uh, we got a couple of our scout balloons going out this way. I made some more scout balloons in this cluster here, so they're all spreading out. So we can see what is around this exactly. I guess I can move this guy up as well. Uh, this little dinghy, so we can go up here, see what's up there, and continue to explore and spread out the map. I'm not really too concerned about this fog of war here, as, um, you know, I'm just concerned about our front lines, really. And, uh, yes, our dirty daves are here. We still got this little force right here that I'll probably send uh, these dragon wasps after later. Because I don't feel like turning around the main fleet. And, uh, yeah. And we have tons and tons of oil. We have, like, how much oil did we have? We have, like, uh... Yeah, like almost 400,000 oil as compared to all our other resources. So we're going to use all that oil to go ahead and uh, bring our enemies, or uh, on the border enemies, back up to good. Let's just do that now. Uh, let's give them like, well, is that for real? Just a thousand oil? And it already proves it that much? Alright, let's do that. Wow, that was awesome. Okay. <laughs> so let's, uh, that was only a thousand, right? Yeah, oh my gosh, we could do that all day long. Alright, so we can go ahead and manipulate the our allies. Uh, just fine like that, and then we could start wars with uh, with other unusual people that we normally wouldn't get into fights with. So, all right, just moving on here, and uh, taking out the deep water guard. They are almost almost done. Probably they have one more base, and that's it. Because their territory and strength is way low. And still taking out the north here with our newly retrofitted dragon wasps. Oh, and this was actually good timing too. So there we go. Good. So we can go ahead and bring this guy down. And, uh, wow, look at that. See, that's why I love them frag damages right there. So we can go ahead under the underbelly and, uh, oh, it's getting nighttime, too. Wow, <laughs> we're cutting, like, right into this thing. All right, so rest assured, uh, this guy is toast. And the zone is ours. Moving on, uh, we have a small fight, I think, here 
uh, over over on this side here with the dark water, a deep water guard right here with our main fleet. Then we got a 51 right after that. So, uh, oh yeah. And the rain has cleared, and we are back in combat here. I am just taking a look at this ship as I move on up just to see who, who we are fighting. Oh, I love this. I haven't done this in a while. Just standing on the front of ships. Let's get those binoculars out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at those tracer rounds, man. Just look at that stuff. Boom. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at all the bullets everywhere. They're like little stars in the sky. Um, death stars. All right. Well, seems to me like this... These ships are pretty darn good right now. At least uh, at least we can destroy targets before they destroy us, because we're fragile as heck. If we take a walk on the deck here, we'll see... Uh, whoops, there I go. <laughs> I'm like flying away now. Yes, we have won this battle for sure. Uh, yeah, Dragon Wasps have, haven't even done a thing. Alright. And we have spotted an enemy base. This thing is epic looking. Must be the uh, Deepwater Guard for sure. Uh, made out of an old pirate ship. Oh! And poof, it just disappeared. Wow, that was pretty cool though. Alright, so it looks like we have finished that battle. Let's move on south. Oh wow, here we go! This is what it is. Okay, so it just got uncovered. Uh, didn't even know this base was here. So let's go ahead and move on in for the kill. Uh, we're a little bit damaged, kind of. No, it seems like we're alright. So let's move in for the kill. Fly on in. Take this guy out. Uh, oh, what kind of resources do they have here too? That's Oh my gosh, they got everything. They got all this good stuff. Oh, happy days, happy days. Alright, so forget about the 51. Let's take this beautiful pirate station out and uh, and yeah alright so where is this at okay so it's like literally right over here uh, we're flying on in that's right we're going this way here it is and there's no one here to save you now little pirate base let's take a look <laughs> oh this is gonna be bad it's gonna be very bad for them so let's take a look at these shots let's see how they uh, absolutely destroy this gorgeous base uh, as they cut on in into the uh, hull of this thing oh yeah it's beautiful looking though I don't even think their guns even know that we're here yet. Their guns are, like, not even activated. We're, like, way out of their range. Uh, which is good for us. Bad for them. Shooting all around from all corners of the, uh, universe here. Let's go ahead and, uh, rush the camera on in here. Just so we can get a closer look at this devastation. Um, uh, <laughs> I like, I like devastation, yeah. Almost looks like it's sinking. Alright, uh, let's swing on around here. As per usual, Budkai Cam style. And... Yeah, alright, so this is a- oh, look at these cool- oh my gosh, these missiles are serious. Two frags, uh, explosive, lots of fins, some fuel tanks. Hey, I really- I really do like these missiles, they're nice. But alright, they're not shooting. We must have- oh, they got one gun that's shooting here, let's see how it takes out our fleet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That almost looks like an angry chicken up there, actually. Almost fooled me for a second there. Uh-oh! Are we gonna hit our own ship? Tell you what, these guys are pretty darn wacky flying guys. <laughs> Eventually, uh, oh, I see. So they kind of go in for attack runs since they are actual planes. And I guess when the AI says um, go around for an attack run or something, it like just the, the spin blades kind of do their own thing, and the AI wants to do another thing, and they just kind of go wherever. <laughs> so maybe that's just something something I need to take care of. But it looks like the AI here is dead eh, for probably about another ten seconds, and it's done. I kind of expected more devastation. Uh, crap. That stinks. <laughs> uh, but alright, so it looks like we've, we've, uh, we've taken this out. So it seems. Man, stop, stop sliding on the desert here, man. Come on. And the enemy is disintegrating all on their own. Uh, I guess it just took a little while for the AI to be dead, but our ships knew it. And it's, uh, going through a lot of pain. Looks like maybe one minute, and then, and then I guess it kind of dies after that. Yep. It's a one minute death AI kind of thing. I tell you what, this one ship always has problems. Just this one ship. All the other two are fine whenever they fly and shoot. It's just this one guy right here. I'm not really sure what his deal is. I made them all the same. Maybe it's because my guy's on there throwing the weight off. Maybe that's that's what it is. All right. So anyway, uh, yes, we have gotten this resource zone for the Bud Kai faction, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and build uh, yes another another miner. And it seems to me, checking the uh, diplomacy tab, that we have absolutely destroyed the deep water deeplings. Uh, they are gone. Oh my goodness, look at this. When there's just one ship like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at them frags. Uh, it's, this whole thing is just like, there's no words for it, man. It's just like, boom. I mean, like, that kind of alpha strike like that will silence a lot of uh, single ship designs, that's for sure. Or single ship fleets. Or single ships. <laughs> um... Oh, we got some missiles coming in too. Look, look at this. Oh, even more fun. All right. Well, 
Uh, yeah, so let's, let me show you guys the uh, diplomacy tab. Or let's just continue watching this guy get blown up. This is kind of cool. But we're going to have a new enemy soon. And uh, we are going to have to decide who that enemy is. I want to get someone that's way out there. Just like totally doesn't make sense to go after. I think that'd be kind of fun. And our ships are doing good. They're shooting, strafing, flying just fine. Even though I'm on the back of them. Uh, oh, this guy's so done. Oh, so utterly done. And yeah, we just be flying, man. We just be flying all good. Oh, that guy's going bonkers. Darn it, sometimes they go bonkers. Why Why is that? I don't know. Oh, he's good. He's straightened himself up. Yeah, that's good. It was just like the recoil. All right, so there's nothing but pieces left of this fellow here. Oh, we might smash into each other. Nope, we won't. Boom, pulled out of play. <laughs> all right, so uh, let me show you guys the uh, diplomacy that I was talking about. Uh, Deepwater Guard has 0% of its economy. It looks like that last base we took over was their uh, last base. So, uh, now let's go ahead and make sure these guys still like us. Let's give them a little more, uh, a little more oil. There we go. Okay, good. So everyone's in the blue. I don't care if these guys hate us. Let's go after someone new. I'm thinking, uh, let's just go out and explore the map some more. Uh, let's see here. Zoom on out. I got a bunch of scouts out here now. I, we could see the, uh, the Electro guys over here. And a few of these other fellows over here. No iron hands. I guess the iron hands are further up. But yeah, let's, let's kind of push our scouts up ahead. And see what we could find on this map. And uh, yeah. And this really is going to be the end of the deep water deeplings. We're just wiping out the last of their territories here. Uh, oh, luckily our ships are not going after this guy. But hopefully, let's see if our missiles can go ahead and nick this guy here. Uh, if I've given them enough... Maneuverability! Oh, that was so close. That was so, so close. Now this could spell trouble for us as he's going to smash himself right into a... Okay, good. Luckily, they've lost their targets, and the missiles will leave us alone. All right. Oh, and these guys, of course, these guys. Uh, looks like they are having a bad day. Level up. I must have gotten like 10 levels. No, probably 20 levels this episode. All right, and... Um, oh, look at that. So we really can't get too close to an enemy because that really uh, throws us off here. You know, probably we should start a little lower uh, because I, I do have the AI, all right, AI to fly at 100 and I start us off at 200 height. So maybe that's what's messing up our ships, probably something like that. And now that we're in the open ocean, don't got to worry about mountains, we're all good. Uh, how's the status of everyone? Let's see, 95%. So a few of us got a little banged up there, but it's no big deal. And okay, so one last fight to go before I feel good about wiping out these deep water guard. There's one more 50 some force over here. We're gonna go over there and take him out. Uh, yeah, and we'll do it at around 100 meters starting. And as the sun comes up, our enemies are on the horizon, right on over there, almost there. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up time just a little bit. Boop, there you go. And, uh, yeah, this is the last big threat. I guess, uh, the deep water didn't have a chance to really buff themselves up, uh, to have these huge numbers. We do have, uh, some lightning hoods over here, some great talons over here that are 120 strengths. So we got some epic battles coming for later. But, uh, let's finish off these guys here and, and these little dragon wasps. They're gonna go ahead and finish up any deep water down here. Probably won't even get that on camera. So those are easy little fights, but great fights are coming. Epic stuff. So let's go ahead and engage these guys. And be done with these people. Here we go. All right. So let's all move on in here. <clears throat> and, okay, good. So we're shooting. That's always a good thing. Oh, they always have one of these little decoy guys flying around here. That's so annoying. Definitely, uh, definitely smart, though. <laughs> and these guys are destroying. Yeah, they're getting destroyed. All right. So they are literally evaporating. Uh, <laughs> a little overkill, maybe? Oh, okay. So this thing is what throws everyone off. Is that, uh, I see. So the guns turn. They try to chase it. He's actually doing a really good job chasing it. Wow, look at look at him go. Wow. And the missiles got him, though. The missiles totally blew that guy up into smithereens. <clears throat> this is pretty impressive, actually. We're, we're really maneuverable. I'm, I'm impressed with these designs. Uh, kind of. <laughs> All right, and this guy's done, too. Wait, was that really 50-some force? All right, well, I guess the deep water are done. Won't be seeing them again. And on to new enemies. Uh, did we say what we're going to go after? No, not yet. I guess I'll figure that out next episode. Uh, who we go after. And yeah, we'll, we'll just play it by ear. But alright, so I will see you guys next time.